Thanks for watching us at 6 o'clock, and you are in focus. You know, Howard County kids head back to school in less than a week, but some Glenwood Middle School parents are calling the school toxic. They say they want answers before sending their kids back. In Focus investigator Amy O'Bear has been digging on this story for weeks now. Here's her report, Amy. Well, Jamie, the school system says concerns about air quality and mold at Glenwood Middle were reported in the summer of 2013. Parents are arguing they should have found out much sooner. For some parents at Glenwood Middle, the familiar first day of school jitters come this year with new meaning. Once we put those kids on the bus or drop them off at school, they're the responsibility of the county to take care of. And here they have ton, done a totally horrible thing. For Andrew Walker, news of mold at the Howard County School came as a shock. That just infuriates me and infuriates my wife and it infuriates the kids and the community at large. He has two kids currently at the school, one of whom Walker says struggled with a laundry list of sicknesses over the last school year. From what I understand from some of the parents that have uh, really dug in deep, that Nicholas was in some of these classrooms that experienced this. Uh, Mold growth. For Laura Valor, it was the same story. My daughter had violent nosebleeds, and it sounds graphic, but what we uh, dealt with was that she had so much blood pouring out of her nasal passages that she was, it was draining to her stomach, so she was vomiting, and it was still coming out of her nose at the same time, which is pretty scary for a 12 year old. She spoke Thursday at the Howard County Board of Education meeting, explaining in detail what she calls harsh symptoms that her then 12 year old daughter struggled with throughout her seventh grade year. It's incredibly scary, and in all honesty, I had it, my cell phone in my hand with 911 dialed, or, or ready to hit the send button. Both parents say once the summer rolled around, symptoms cleared. Within a few weeks, they argue they should have been told about mold at Glenwood sooner. Unfortunately, because we were not notified about anything to do with mold at the school, I couldn't offer that up to her doctor as um, any data. Parents forwarded the In Focus team a July 22nd email from the school system to the Glenwood community that says, in part, concerns about air quality and mold were reported at Glenwood Middle School in July 2013, following several hot and humid weeks. The email, parents said, was the first time they were notified specifically about mold. Why in the world would you not contact the community and anybody that's going into that school to let them know that hey, there's an issue here. According to the school system, early written communication discussed the building's upgrades that were going on at the time. They forwarded us a letter sent on May 10th, 2014, from then-principal Dave Brown to parents, saying in part, I am writing to inform you that our building has undergone work throughout this year to safeguard the quality of air in our school. Mold specifically was not mentioned. We've heard concerns from the community there was communication from the then principal as well as from the chief operating officer at that time. Um, we hear the concerns that there was not enough communication and we are committed to communicating about the environmental conditions in Glenwood as we move forward. The school system says they've hired national experts to monitor air quality and have followed their recommendations. They've also recently completed a $3 million HVAC replacement at Glenwood Middle, a project that was pushed up two years. We take their concerns very, very seriously. We also take very seriously the health of our buildings, the environmental conditions in our buildings. And that's why we've gone to the measures that we've gone to. Measures that they say have put the middle school in great shape. Glenwood is a safe place to send your kids to school next week. When we visited the school last week, crews were seen working on various parts of the building. Still, parents say they felt left in the dark when it came to their kids getting sick and a school they believe caused it. They lost my trust. And um, I'm someone who worked for the Department of Education. My mother retired from there. I'm probably the hardest person to have to make loose trust. Now, those parents with questions for the school system will be able to voice their concerns tomorrow. The school is holding a meeting from 7 to 9 tomorrow evening to update parents on the building's condition and renovation projects. Parents sent us this picture last week showing a disaster response team truck 
parked outside the school. Howard County officials responded to this picture, saying the company, quote, offers cleaning, restoration, and reconstructive services. They've been contracted to assist with the deep cleaning of the building. We plan to cover the meeting at Glenwood Middle School tomorrow night. We filed a Maryland Public Information Act request to the Howard County Public School System for the air quality reports and emails discussing mold and humidity and are waiting on those results. We'll dig deeper throughout the week right here on In Focus. All right, keep it up, Amy. Thank